Hi, my name is Saira Khan. I'm a postdoctoral fellow at the Pittsburgh Center for Philosophy of Science, and I just finished my PhD at UC Irvine's Department for Logic and Philosophy of Science. I'm super excited to be at Pittsburgh and have the opportunity to talk to a lot of other visiting fellows about my research and participate in the lunchtime talks and also have connections with people at CMU. I think this is a great opportunity and I'm very excited to take part in it. My areas of specialization are in philosophy of biology and decision theory. In the philosophy of biology, I'm primarily in interested in the evolution of cooperation in humans as well as non-human organisms. Um, so this is really puzzling from a, a biological perspective and a philosophical perspective because cooperation is costly and natural selection should favor self-interest. So the puzzle is to explain how people can or how organisms can be cooperative when natural selection doesn't favor that. So far, I've focused on the evolution of human cooperation, in particular, the co-evolution of commitment and cooperation over our evolutionary history. So that's showing that um, forms of commitment allow us to engage in forms of cooperation that in turn provide the selective environment for increasingly effective commitment. And I'm thinking of things such as commitments via shared activity, linguistic promising, moralized commitment and institutionalized commitment. So this work was conducted as part of my dissertation research and it combined approaches from multiple fields such as anthropology, psychology, biology and game theory. And at the center I'm looking to extend this research to other organisms. So in particular I'm looking at whether evolution whether the evolution of cooperation can be explained in the group hunting of other organisms. Uh, and how far these explanations, how much these explanations can tell us when they're coarse green theories. So you might want to consider things like ecological context or characterization of the problem in different environments. And our coarse green theories of the evolution of cooperation might be not nuanced enough to do so. So that's one project in the philosophy of biology that I'm working on here. In decision theory, I've mainly been working on two things. Uh, the first is transformative experience by Laurie Paul, which is concerned with how we make decisions in potentially life-changing situations. So the example she uses is whether we can rationally choose whether or not to have a child. So I've done some work engaging with whether standard decision theory can deal with this challenge. Uh, more recently, I've been looking at the connection between transformative experience and adaptive preferences, where adaptive preferences are to be understood as those preferences which you form in response to a reduced option set. So the classical example of an adaptive preference, for example, is somebody who's in a abusive relationship who comes to prefer that relationship rather than disprefer it. I think there's some interesting synergies between the kinds of phenomenal experience and deliberation that we see in cases of transformative experience and how we might deal with adaptive preferences. I've also been looking at the debate between evidential and causal decision theory, which are our main competing theories of rationality. And in particular, I've been looking at whether models of deliberation are good for reconciling these theories. So, so far I've done some mathematical work on whether these models of deliberation actually achieve what they say they do. And at the centre, I'm looking to extend this into uh, discussions more generally of the kinds of normativity that we see in these theories. So can theories of prescriptive normativity bear on evaluative theories of normativity or vice versa? So that's me. Thank you.